So I bought Brussels sprouts at Trader Joe's today. When we were in New York, we bought some room service and it came with Brussels sprouts. They were roasted and uh, I've been wanting them ever since. So I'm gonna try to do them myself. I looked at a recipe online and uh, it's not too hard, it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna try it out. All right, so what I did, I cut them all in half and then I tossed them in a bowl with olive oil, salt and pepper. So now I'm gonna stick them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. I'm excited. I know. Try these. Yeah, so I pulled them out of the oven. I left them in there for about 35 minutes. Stick them out when they're browning. So here we go. Let's try these. Oh, and I also sprinkled some balsamic vinegar over on. Yeah. They're really good. You did such a good job. It's funny because Brussels sprouts are like the one thing a kid like tries to stay away from. It's funny now that I went to the grocery store and bought them myself, and I enjoy them now. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mm. To top it all off. Uh, all right, so it's 3:30 in the morning. So I got up to take a leak, and I heard the coyotes right down the street going nuts. So. I just recently bought a coyote call for this reason. I'm gonna go park down by this wash and I'm gonna blow the coyote call and uh, we'll see if we can get a bunch of them to charge the car. Um, what this thing sounds like is a cottontail in distress. So I guess it sounds like a dying rabbit. So I hope this thing works, it'll be fun. This thing is so obnoxious. This is really creepy because now I just hear a bunch of coyotes calling to each other off in the distance. <laughs> All right, so I ended up driving to a different spot and I didn't see any there either, but I did hear them. So uh, I need to get some sleep. But next time I think I'll probably go out to a different spot with a buddy of mine that's done this before but it's like in a canyon in the wild and uh, probably where there's a lot more of them. So until next time. Hey guys, so I know I'm a hot mess. They uh, they were just talking about the fact that my wallet's missing. Anyways, and the other vlog camera. The other vlog camera. It really stinks. But um, I wanted to do a really quick Whole Foods haul. Dan's bringing the rest of the stuff up, but he was like, start the haul because we want to eat that food for lunch. So I'm gonna show you everything that we got. Um, in no particular order, I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out of the bag, and yeah. First thing is, organic beef jerky teriyaki, he already had some, so there's that. Um, barbecue flavored chicken breast, honey and maple turkey breast, uh, rosemary and roasted garlic vinaigrette. This sounded amazing, I don't know if it's gonna be good or gross, we'll find out. Um, I got another jar of raw organic coconut oil. Um, I feel like I can always use coconut oil and I'm kind of starting to run low. So some Southwestern Ranch Kale Crunch. This stuff is really good. Just a nice little snack. Tuscan Three Cheese Pretzel Crisps. I think Dan has tried these before. He really likes them. Um, some snappy sourdough bread, ooh. And then Dan got these things because he thought they looked really bomb, so we'll see how he likes them. Truffle Parmesan and Mac Cheese. This brand is actually a restaurant, I believe in New York. I've never been, but it's supposed to be really good. So, Chipotle Chicken Mac and Cheese. Um. Okay, I got this. What is she, what's she doing? I gave her a pumpkin seed and she couldn't chew it. So she tossed it around like it was her little like ball. Aww. <laughs> You're so cute, little Zot. Okay, so then I got this cucumber avocado. Well, it says it's cucumber. It's not. She put the wrong sticker on, but it's just an avocado roll. So I think Dan and I are gonna have this with our lunch. Like this will probably be a part of my lunch. Um, I got more zevia, like usual. Then we got these. Dan picked out these spicy sweet potato fries. They're pretty good, but I picked out, oh, it's in the other bag. I picked out a different kind of Alexia product. I'll show you when it comes up. Um, then we got this provolone cheese, just for sandwiches and stuff. And 
that's kind of why we got the meat too so for the, everyone who doesn't know I do technically eat meat now I don't eat very much of it because I don't really like it and I just don't eat very much of it but occasionally I eat it but the reason why we really got the meat I might want it but like when I want to make sandwiches like last night I had a huge veggie sandwich Dan didn't have a sandwich he didn't want one because he wanted like a meat sandwich so now if we want to do sandwiches for a meal like he has an option to and he'll actually eat it so then there is this Rouse. I, this is like my favorite pasta sauce brand I think that I've tried ever. And this is Rouse Homemade Vodka Sauce. So far, actually, I've only tried two or three, maybe only two, maybe I spoke too soon, um, kinds, but they're just, I mean, so good. It's expensive for a pasta sauce. I mean, you can get pasta sauces for way cheaper, but if you think about it in terms of going to a restaurant, it's still cheaper than going to a restaurant because this is going to make like multiple people's pastas. Good timing. I literally just showed the last product from the Whole Foods haul that I have, Whole Foods that I had up here. Oh, random. Some woman in the parking lot handed me this Walita thing as we were leaving because something like she's a Walita rep and she dropped some of the flyers under our car and Dan like crawled under and got it for her and she was like, thank you. Here's some product. I was like, sweet. So then I got these Bubby's pickles. These are my favorite pickles, hands down. I think they're a little healthier than like regular pickles. No sugar, vinegar, or preservatives. Wait, vinegar is bad? I don't know, actually, but they're just <laughs> super good. So then I got this chunky tomato bisque soup. It's been getting a little colder lately, and the Amy's tomato soup, this brand, like Amy's just makes really good food in general, and this tomato soup, I think, is super good. So then I got this raw one for women. It's just a multivitamin. I think this brand has gotten a lot of really great ratings and the ingredients are supposed to be really great. And honestly, yeah, I'm just spitting out facts without <laughs> actually having any information. So Dan has this, but he never takes them unless I give them to him and I forget to give them to him. Unless it's not I'm even open. I know. I've never even heard of that before. I know you have that and look, you have this too. You still have a couple in the other bottle, look. So what is it? it's just a multivitamin for men. So we'll start right. taking our multivitamins to a gamble. So then I got some bananas because I think I'm gonna make more of those uh, little paleo bars I made with Cambria, which if you didn't see those, if you just go on Cambria or Brie Loves Beauties, Brie Loves Beauties vlogs vlog channel she made the cambria's kitchen over here and it was like a banana chocolate almond bar so good and i think i want to bake those tonight so then i got this kale like salad mix it's just got baby kale spinach and other baby greens um yeah i've been upping my salad intake again so i feel like every single day i've been having to buy like more so yeah then i got this hint pear water and I got a Hint Honeydew and Hibiscus, which this is my favorite flavor. Then I got some cayenne pepper because the other night we were making this Cajun chicken pasta from the Pioneer Woman. I think we showed you guys. But she puts cayenne in there as well. And I realized we don't have cayenne. But it's kind of cool. I'm starting to feel like an adult because, guys, look at this. I have, like, a ton of spices up here. So I'm starting to actually feel like a full-blown adult. Such an adult. So then I got these I've never tried from Alexia, but I've liked everything I've ever tried from them. These are the organic oven crinkle fries with sea salt and pepper. Mm. I need more beef jerky. Looks really, really good. This beef jerky is so good. The last like three times I've had beef jerky, it's been the, like the regular gas station kind. Oh. And that stuff's always... Okay, subpar. Yeah, this actually tastes like jerky. Hmm. Dan's Good. debating getting a dehydrator. Debating. And making his own. I've been wanting one for like the past five years. Well, you should get one. You nobody uses. Really? Then I think this problem was just solved live on camera. Yeah. Because I think. Mm -hmm. Remember when Michelle was vegan? Oh. I should go there and change a light bulb and then just steal say, it. Say it's a trade. Yes. <laughs> Um, okay, so then I got this Staccino. I have no idea what kind of cheese that is, mm. so I hope I don't hate it. An arugula wood-fired pizza. Yummy sounding. Then I got some guacamole. So really just out of convenience because it's pre-made and super yummy. I got some more veganese. This is soy-free because I think I told you guys, I'm pretty sure I figured out 
that soy breaks me out, especially if I have too much. Yep. Like I had, he's even starting to notice that. Like when I pointed out, I'm like, dude, I just had soy. He's like, dude, I know. So over the weekend we were at this food truck thing and the Koji truck or Kogi, however you say it was there. And like I said, I eat meat, but I don't eat a ton of it. So I got the tofu tacos and I have some like significant breakouts coming up. But, now. but I'm almost on my had, period. She so. had one of my, she I had, had a, bite. a bite. What did I get? The Korean Beef. ribs. That was pretty good. Man, that was like the best taco I've ever had. Yeah, I mean, that's why they're so famous, I guess. So, uh, these are good. Oh. Whoever invented these was a freaking genius. Yeah? These are really good. Genie also! I have to like really stop myself because I can just go through the whole bag so quickly. Eat up, little homie. Okay. Then Dan must have grabbed these because I didn't see them. All natural vegetable spring rolls. Hmm. Uh, these look very interesting. Are you excited? Bowser, watching our haul. These look good. Buena, nat Buena natural vegetarian tamales, green chili zucchini with cheese. These look very, very good. I'm about to eat that macaroni. Yeah. Chipotle chicken macaroni. I think I'm gonna make this salad I saw on Andy Jaffrey's Instagram. It's just like a bunch of veggies chopped up, like celery, no way. <laughs> celery, cucumber. Zucchini, onions, apple. I'm gonna do like a lemon dressing over it. But okay, so then I got this, which I actually returned my other one because it was already open. But I'm excited to try this. And this is a Greek yogurt and chia seed, peach flavored. I had to return the other one because it was already open, but I'm really excited to try this. And then, oh, I thought you were talking to me. Zoe. You're Zoe. She's eating my pumpkin seeds. Oh, little Zoe. Good girl. <laughs> The last thing I got Dollar. were two artichokes, just right in there, because, I don't know why I feel like I have to show you, there we go, because we are probably going to make artichokes with whatever we make for dinner tonight, just because it sounds bomb. Oh, and you were going to make Brussels sprouts again, right? Yeah. And we should make the fingerling potatoes. It can be a full-on veggie fest with whatever else we want. Okay. That sounds freaking dang okay guys so that is the end of our haul groceries have a good rest of the day guys we'll see you later we're gonna make our lunch now and yeah do you have anything to say shana before we go then go into the trash <laughs> i'll be there <laughs> check out shana at expeditionivy.com bye Ooh. also dan reminded me that um, I didn't know this, but Whole Foods, like all Whole Foods do like local charities. So our Whole Foods, if you live in Santa Clarita right now, just so you know, what they're doing is they're feeding like single mothers. I think at the women's shelter, right? Yeah. So you can actually buy them meals when you're checking out at Whole Foods. So that's kind of cool. And what we did is you can either buy them breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it's like $5, $15, $25. So we just bought a full meal. So the $25 one and yeah, we're just letting you know that they're there. So check out your local Whole Foods if you want to do something like that because it's kind of cool. Hummock Zoe.